Hello guys, it's Teenage DC Fan back with another video, and I will be reviewing the latest episode of Supergirl, known as Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And Lex Luthor is here. I honestly, I think that this is like, probably the best episode of the season so far, maybe even the whole series. Um, I do have a few minor complaints and stuff like that and things I didn't like about it, but it was mostly a really good episode. So, you start off the episode with a flashback, and it's not really anything important happening, just, you know, Lex Luthor trying to kill Superman with a red sun, then he gets captured, and pretty much that's it. And then, goes back to present day, um, Lex shows up at Lena's house, and we find out that he is in a wheelchair because he accidentally gave himself cancer from, um, from kryptonite poisoning, I guess. And basically that cure thing that Lena's been working on would fix Lex and keep him alive because he's dying. And, and before I continue on with this Lex Luthor storyline, I'm going to go back to the other, um, one of the other storylines in the episode, which is, um, with Kara and Jean and Manchester. So, um, Kara and Jean are trying to hunt down Manchester Black, and then, um, Jean senses him, and then he finds out that it's his father's grave, where his father sacrificed himself to save the Earth from... I, I don't even remember who it was, but I think it was the end of last season. And anyway, so Manchester lit his grave on fire, so then um, Jean gets mad at him. They get in this huge fight, and then... Um, he disappears. Then later on, they're at, like, I'm not too sure where it is. I can't remember for sure. But, um, but they basically end up fighting, um, Manchester again. And we do get to see Jean transform into his Martian form, which I really like. Like, I really like Martian Manhunter, but I hate him on this show because he barely ever looks like Martian Manhunter. Like, he's always in his human form. I wish that his alien form was, like, permanent and that he couldn't turn into a human because he, he barely ever turns into a Martian. Like, I wish that at least every time he was, like, fighting someone, he would turn into a Martian. But, no, he's usually just human. And then when we do get to see him in his Martian form, he's in his Martian form for like five seconds. It's so stupid. But anyway, um, so Manchester has this staff thing with a crystal. Um, Jean gets it from him and stabs him with it and supposedly kills Manchester. But supposedly Manchester died last episode and then turns out he wasn't dead. And yeah. Like, when, when Jean stabbed him, it didn't really look like Manchester was in any pain or anything. He was kind of just standing there, smiling. Um, so I don't think he's really dead. Um, and then we'll move on to the other storyline. Oh, and before I move on to that next storyline, um, one thing I'd like to mention that I don't think I mentioned before, but maybe I did, I did not at all expect John Cryer to do good as Lex Luthor, but he was fantastic. Like, it was so true to the character, and very Lex Luthor-like. Um, like, when you hear Lex Luthor, you usually don't think John Cryer, but now you do. He nailed it. He was perfect as the role. Although I would have preferred Michael Rosenbaum back as Lex Luthor. Because he was... 
so good on Smallville. Literally the best live action Lex Luthor in my opinion. But John Cryer was pretty good too. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next storyline. Um, so James Olsen, or Jimmy Olsen, was shot in the last episode. So he's in the hospital. And then his sister shows up, Kelly. And then um, she decides to go um, to have them go into surgery. Even though a Alex says that um, that Lena's working on the cure. So um, Lena's working on the cure too. Because that could save Jimmy, James. I'm probably going to keep calling him Jimmy anyway, so. Um, yeah, so she's working on the cure. So Alex tells Kelly that, but she doesn't trust Lena because, uh, like, she broke his heart, broke James's heart. So she doesn't trust her. So she just decides to have them go into surgery. And then in the middle of surgery, the power goes out because of the whole thing with Manchester and, and John and Kara fighting. And um, then that is when Lena shows up with the cure. And then they inject it into him. And then he's all right. He's fine. He's alive. Didn't really expect him to die. But uh, uh, at first I wasn't too sure Like he could have died. He's not really that important to the show. Um, and then that was pretty much it for that part. And then one more mini storyline before I get on to the main event with Lex Luthor. Um, so during this whole thing, Brainy and Nia were basically like sobbing because they were like, oh, it was my fault because I didn't see this coming. Because Brainy could have, like, predicted it with, like, his powers and stuff. And same with Nia. But they didn't. And they both blamed themselves. But then later they ended up kissing, which was kind of weird. But And then right after that, um, Brainy w was just like, we can't be together. Or something weird like that. And I didn't really understand it because it was completely pointless. Like, he just kissed. They're pretty much in love, so why can't they be together? I don't know. But maybe we'll just have to wait and see on that. But now, on to the main event, the best part of the episode. John Cryer as Lex Luthor. Like I said, did a fantastic job with this. Um, so I'll kind of just start from the beginning. I already described it a little bit at the beginning of this breakdown, but I'll just continue from that. So, Lex helps Lena work on the cure thing, and, um, then they're talking about, um, his childhood, and, uh, how much he actually cares for her, even though she never knew it, like, um, like, he never, like, told her that he was proud of her or anything like that, because if he did that, then she wouldn't have succeeded as much as she does, and she wouldn't have driven herself to keep trying, because um, he figured out that she always wanted to impress him, so he figured that if, he, if she knew that he was impressed, then she would stop trying, so he kind of pretended not to care even though the whole time he was super impressed and um like he thinks that she's even smarter than he is um yeah so that's cool but then at the end of the episode or close to the end of the episode probably the best part of the episode um so when lena gets back from the hospital and she she knows that Lex had something to do with the power going out. And, um, yeah, she figured it out. And then she sa says, um, like, there were children in that ho hospital. They all could have died. And, um, then she says that she's never going to give him the key.